this is my tips on super tuning your unit. Uh, basically, take it out of the box and let's go fishing. Uh, first thing I recommend is to set your imaging frequency to 455 kilohertz under your sonar master menu. The easiest way to get started is to match your boat speed and your chart speed together. So if you're idling uh, in the three to four mile an hour range, set your chart speed to three to five. If you're on the trolling motor, run one or two. The best images are going to be a slow, steady, straight course uh, to begin with. This will help you get started and understand what side imaging can do for you. The next thing is to set your area of coverage. If you're using the 398 or the 698 with the smaller screens, I recommend 50 to 75 foot with the 455 kilohertz. On the larger units, the 899, 999, 1199, the Onyx, and Ion, I like to use 100 foot because that gives you very good coverage area and it keeps the size of the data where you can easily recognize small objects like fish uh, and structure. The next item is to adjust your sensitivity. Factory defaults are 10. Depending on bottom hardness, you'll want to adjust that from 8 to 12. Um, harder bottoms you want to go a lower number soft bottoms you want to raise that number that sensitivity level so it makes it easier for the data to show up also your contrast this under the SI enhance uh, menu there will be sensitivity contrast sharpness the contrast can also be adjusted from 8 to 12 is where my main settings for that feature is uh, down imaging sensitivity, uh, I'll use, I used to usually like to run it at about two notches higher. You can see 10 to 12. My, contra my down imaging contrast, 8 to 12. Uh, set my down imaging coverage to wide. The 2D frequency, I prefer 200 kilohertz only because of the intense detail of 200, the higher frequency of 200 kilohertz over 83. It's actually what you're seeing if you're vertical fishing is the 200 kilohertz more than the 83 kilohertz. I like to set my switch fire to max when I'm over 10 foot of water depth and I like to set it on clear less than 10 foot. In clear mode it will actually reduce the power of the units so it doesn't overpower. Then on my 360 I like to set my coverage area from 60 to 100 foot and I like to set the speed of the 360 to find fast or if I'm in an area of active fish that are moving around I will run standard but find fast is a great place to start basically side imaging there's three easy steps to remember when you're setting cover when you're setting up your unit you want to set your coverage area you want to adjust the sensitivity and you want to adjust the contrast to get high de higher detailed images. This is basically, we're going to take it and super tune it just like a professional photographer doesn't use auto mode on his digital camera. He uses, adjusts his f-stop and his shutter speeds and all that stuff to get the, the images like on the front cover of Bassmaster magazine. This is just showing an example of adjusting uh, the factory defaults of 10 will work but this is super tuning your unit to get the most out of it. You can, here is that same image in 10. This image down here, we increased the sensitivity to 12. And then here we lowered it to 8. You can see the changes that it made. We've actually got a creek channel here with trees. And this is a vertical surface. So you can see as we adjust that up, we're getting a real hard return. If you overpower it, you're going to possibly wash out fish that would be in an area that you could get a strong return, like hard bottoms or vertical surfaces. You want to see every fish you can, so find, playing with the sensitivity will help you find more fish. This is an example of going back to the sensitivity at 10 and adjusting our contrast. We adjust our contrast to 12. Uh, you can see down here in the corner and you can see the adjustment uh, if we lowered it to 8 with the same sensitivity readings. 
This darkens it up a little bit. This brightens up the image a little bit. Getting a good balance between the hard and soft returns will help you get uh, a better, better image and see more fish. Basically, here's some examples of sensitivity at 8, contrast at 10. The sensitivity at 8, contrast at 12. And the sensitivity at 8 and the contrast at 8. You can see that it affects the images just a little bit to super tune that image so nothing is left behind. The next thing we want to talk about is 360 imaging. It's available in two versions. Our transom version as pictured on my boat. Um, it can work in conjunction with the Minn Kota talons on the same bracket with an adapter plate or new for late of 2013 was the bow mount version that allowed you to to adapt it to a Minn Kota Fortrex or Maxim trolling motor. It will work equally on either place. Um, the transom version works good if you're running electric steer or you want to idle with 360. The bow version you're going to have to put your trolling motor in the water if you're going to use 360 imaging. This is an example of what 360 imaging can do for you. You see this school of fish and this is a composite of snapshots. This is not actual footage from it, but it shows you that these fish as it, as it refreshes are moving around. Um, it's basically fish radar. Um, it doesn't replace side imaging. It enhances your fishing system to give you more data to help you catch more fish. Um, this is just an example of stumps that you can see with 360. You can get very good detail. You can see the roots on it. You can actually see some fish over here out to the side. Um, the great part about it is your boat is always pointed forward. This is to the left. This is to the right. This is behind the 360 system and this is always forward of the 360 system. So you know exactly where those fish were. You can make a cast that direction and try to catch those fish. Um, here's another example. We're in 10 foot of water. Stumps, laydowns. Um, we've got lily pads and grass over here on the left. And we've got some fish back here on the, on the cut. We're actually in a little creek channel here. Sitting perfectly still, 360 imaging will show the picture for you without any control of the foot your hands, just put it in the water and let it go to work. And let it go to work for you. This is showing a foundation with the boat icon that was forward and left of us. Uh, it allows you to stay off that structure, see it, and make cast to it and try to catch fish off of it. Uh, 360 imaging, this is a bunch of fish here on this brake line and you can split it with mapping. Um, you can see all these white spots. Those are actually fish uh, off the bottom that uh, you can know exactly where to cast. They're all around you, so you can make multiple casts all the way around you to catch more fish. It shows rock detail very good. This is rock. This is actually a ledge dropping off, and you can see all the fish that are hanging out here, bait fish and fish, those white areas. Those are the items you want to look for. One of the really neat things of 360 is when it refreshes is if it moved and you didn't move, it was a fish or you better cast at that area because there's fish there. Now basically 360 made it uh, made easy. Um, the setup, you can adjust the uh, amount of zoom will increase the data. The first picture was without any zoom. We're at two times zoom. If you look here, we've got a range at 120. There's a four times zoom, six times zoom, and that will help you see the data. The next is running your chart speed. You've got different chart speeds. This is set on standard, and if you look at, this is factory defaults, so and you can see exactly what the adjustment of it. Here's fine fast. You can see we're getting capturing a lot more detail 
Our vector line is not going to rotate as fast, but we're going to get more detail in the image. There's also a slow that really increases the level of detail, but it refreshes the slowest. Course fast is one up from standard. It will cause the vector line to go around faster. It does uh, slur the image a little bit, but if your fish are moving, you can still see the fish here and the bait fish there, and you can see fish off of this break. This is the fastest speed. Uh, the 360 imaging system is going around real quick. Uh, you can still see a fish here and some trees. Uh, it's going to refresh real fast if you're, if you're needing new data, fresher data, to make that important decision on where to cast next. Um, my personal preference is to use Find Fast to get started with.